How are we doing? So, it is October 5th, 2021. As you can see, Songbird is at 58 cents. Coins have been out for about three weeks now. Maybe a month. Yeah, about three weeks, I'd say. You have probably another couple months to claim them, and then they go back to the system. Um, as of right now, since the coins are not being released by exchanges, besides Bitchu, feel sorry for you guys, I'm the same boat. Um, but I did have coins on Ledger Nano X, so I'm going to show you, I showed you last video how to claim them on Ledger Nano X using MetaMask and Ledger, Ledger Live. But if you didn't like that, how, how technical it was and how many steps you had to go through, this video is about Bifrost Wallet and how to delegate votes and then show you the liquidity pool and making the can coin um, and then wrapping coins also too. Uh, this is the very easiest, best wallet to use if you're just going to wrap your coins and delegate and that's it. That all said, let's jump right onto it. So the Bifrost Wallet, first off, as of right now, as you can see right here, it says connect. You cannot use a cold storage wallet. That's what I'm assuming for. It could just be for like uh, your trust wallet, your MetaMask wallet, who knows. But you should always try to keep your coins in or tokens in a cold storage wallet. It's the safest way to, most secure way to have it. Um, Ledger makes one, as you know, since you claim it in Ledger Nano X. Uh, Decent wallet makes one. It's a biometric one, really, really nice. It actually supports all the blockchain so far that I'm aware of, all the major ones. Um, but Bifrost right now is the easiest one. So if you don't want to use Ledger Live, you send your coins to here. The way you do it is you hit, and yours will be blank. We won't say the wrapped Songbird at all, just be blank. You hit receive. You choose Songbird. And then there's your address. So you can either scan it or you can copy it. Make sure you always double check when you're sending. Go to your MetaMask, link your Ledger Live, send your coins on over to Songbird. Now they're here. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enter your token address so you can make or receive or at least show your wrapped songbirds. You can make your wrapped songbirds, but if you don't have the token address in here, they're never going to show on up. It's the same process we did in MetaMask, but we'll do it again here in Bifrost in case you didn't watch that video. So what you do is you're going to go to you need the token address. And all the links I um, talk about today will be in the description. So you hit songbird. You hit the three dots. Now you're going to open Explorer. If you're not familiar with what Explorer is for blockchain, basically, as you can see, it'll show your balance and your account details right there. But also, too, it shows all these transactions that are going on for the whole blockchain. Tons and tons and tons and tons of what they're doing. You don't know who owns them, but it tells you what they're doing. You can look at people's walls, addresses up here, um, token symbols. But we're going for our coin address. So all the Flare coins and all the Songbird coins uh, token addresses so far are on here. So you choose token. And we're going to look for right there, wrap Songbird. So hit wrapped. And right there is the token address. So you want to copy it. Once it's copied, you back on out. And you go to receive. And then you enter the token address. I'm sorry, add a custom token. Then you choose the network. You can choose whatever you want to, but I mean, it's only going to show up for a you know, songbird. So then you put the contract in, put address so they continue, and then boom, there you go. A lot easier than MetaMask. You hit add a custom token, pow, there you go. So now I already have some made, but to show you, so you have songbird here. You want to wrap it. So all you have to do is hit wrap. You choose how many you want to wrap. I'm just going to do one right now. Remember, there are gas fees. Network fees can be, you know, five cents, which is kind of expensive. So I'm going to do it for one, for one coin, not wrap it. I already wrapped it. But you would hit confirm, and then next you know, this will pop up. Wrap Songbird. So now you want to delegate it in voting. The way that works out is that UTC time, every Thursday morning at 10 o'clock in the morning, you need to have your coins delegated. And then you keep them there until basically you can claim your rewards. On Biofrost, I realize it's about a week and a half. It's about you know, a couple days behind. Um, so usually, um, so far on Ledger Live and Descent, when you got your rewards, were on Saturday sometime. Uh, Biofrost, I did not get my rewards until late Sunday night. So I'm kind of missing out money if I want to go one stage farther down the road. But they're still delegated. So you have 30 days to... Um, 
claim your uh, rewards. If you do not, they go back in the system. So technically, in theory, if you don't want to change your delegation, you can literally just push a button once every 30 days and get your passive income. I mean, that's just, I mean, wow. Very, very easy. And just do, what, push a button 12 times a month? 12, 12, 12, sorry, 12 times a year. Um, and you watch it compound just by doing the most basic thing. That's, yeah. Thank you guys very much. Thank you, Flair, for giving us Songbird. Awesome. So you hit wrap Songbird. Okay. No say receive, tell me Songbirds, you wrap. Go here. Now you can here you can unwrap them anytime you want to. Remember, it costs a little gas fee. You can delegate. And so here, it's going to show you where you, you can delegate and everything. Who you're going to delegate through. I'm going to definitely change this. So I'm going to undelegate all. So we know it's going to cost me a network fee. So once again, everything you do costs a little fee. Okay. So the nice thing with Bi uh, Bifrost, one thing, it gives you the, the price right now. As well as Ledger Live and also, oh, sorry, MetaMask and um, Decent do not do that. This one does. So here also tells you the next epoch. So I have three days and seven hours until the next epoch comes. But since today's Tuesday um, and I live in the Midwest of the United States, I'm going to want to get my coins locked in by tomorrow night. So let's do that. So add delegation. Um, I'm going to go with Bifrost Oracle. I like Bifrost. Uh, there's another way to delegate. It's not, it's not out there yet. You can do the percentage-wise. You can do it by tokens. Um, right now, if we do by percentage-wise, you can only do up to two FTSOs, oracles, um, to do it. So I'm going to do 50% WSG, wrap Somberg, and Bifrost. Continue. As you can see, once again, network fee. Confirm. Just like that. So if you're using a Decent Wallet, um, the biometric part of it, or using a Ledger Nano X, um, you have to confirm all these as opposed to the wall this wallet here. You just, you know, fingerprint for me, or you can use a password, face, uh, no face ID, but you have fingerprint or password. So the next one is, since this is a FTSO AU I like a lot, I'm going to do that one. And I'm going to do 50% delegate. The rest of do it. Boom, once again, network fee. So it cost me $0.08 cents to delegate total. Um, but if you think about it right now, one coin's worth 50 cents, um, guaranteed to get at least one coin back. So I've made at least, you know, 58 cents. I've made at least a 54 cent profit so far. Unless it tanks. So, I mean, it's not going to go past four cents. Well, if it does, then whatever. It's a beta test network. So that all said. So now you're here. So now you've delegated your votes. There you go. Um, you can sit back. Your claim rewards will pop on up. They'll be bl uh, blue. You claim rewards. And there you go. That's it. So now... Let's say you have more than 1,800 coins, because as of right now, that's what it takes, at least 1,800 coins. And you want to take it one more step further and make more compound interest. After you claim your rewards, you can bring your coins on out, and you can start using them somewhere else. If they're delegated, then you can leave them delegated, and you can keep your coins somewhere else the next Wednesday, because they're already delegated. Or next Thursday, sorry. They are delegated and keep on going. Once you undelegate them, then you have to redo it. So you can keep your coins delegated, moving from wallet to wallet, and they're still, they're still doing it, which is pretty cool. So it's like a little uh, diplomat that leaves your country and goes on out and is there locked up no matter what until you say otherwise. So let's say you want to make the stable coin. So once again, I will give all the web addresses down in the link. You're going to go to this the four, four boxes. That one right there, it's all lit up. And this is where you get your dApps. Usually on most um, hot wallets, they have dApps or uh, Web3 access. Um, they usually, usually give you a whole list. Bifrost doesn't do that for some reason. They don't give you applications or anything. You actually have to know the you know, the website address. So today we're going to go to FlareX. And the thing is, is that right now it's the same thing as uh, from now on, Ledger Live and um, using MetaMask and also... Uh, Decent. It's the same process. So the only thing that's nice about Bifrost right now is the delegation wrapping part. Really easy. So we're here. Ethereum network. Nope. We want Sonberg, so we have to choose Sonberg. If we chose Ethereum, it would fail. So we hit connect. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So once again, you need 1,800 coins to do this. So the difference between this and um, Ledger Live, Ledger Live actually gives you a, a graph, a chart to show you the, what the actual price of uh, this CAND is. CAND is actually the stable coin for the uh, Songbird network. So if I had 1,800 coins, I could be 1,800. Let's see, I'll even do it. I doubt it will. 
Yeah, won't even let me do it. But like for example, right now six coins won't even get me one full candy coin. So say I do one thousand hundred coins, boom, boom, boom. I make them on up. Then also I got can coin here. Now, once again, um, your can coins will not show up in your wallet unless you go add the token. So you can go back to the process how we added the wrap songbird token. Go to the same, uh, repeat the whole process, but instead choose canned in the token list, and you'll be adding it to it. So now you get your can coins. Now it's a stable coin. Um, if I understand it correctly, you will actually be uh, earning rewards on it, but I'm actually going to get into that later in a different video. Right now, it's just kind of showing you how to set up and what you can do with the Bifrost wallets, um, which technically for easy use is the number one wallet, but overall, I think it's uh, number two wallet, decent being number one. And I'll explain that next video. So here, you got your say you got your can coins made. What you're going to do is, if you want to get def deflated coins, you got to go to liquidity pool. So you choose here, you hit liquidity, and then boom. So here you get liquidity going on. So you'd be you would hit supply, and you need to use whatever however many candy coins you put in. You need 110 percent SGB to back it on up. Um, the reason why it is because one thing you can get liquidated here, you can lose money. Um, also, a little too, uh, it gives you a little buffer system buffer to work with and stuff. So depending on what your percentage of the, uh, the share you have in there, you will use your can coin to make deflator coin. Um, if you get liquidated, you will still keep the keep. You get, still have your can coin, and you get to buy your look buy it back in your coins you have for cheaper than the market value is for your SGB. But once again, that's another video down the road, a couple of videos down the road, I should say. Um, but that's pretty much it. Bifrost. I mean, it's right now it's a brand new wallet, it's still starting on out. Um, and you have your basic basic settings. You for you don't for your DApps you only have a URL thing. When I show you Decent tomorrow, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, if you have MetaMask on your uh, iOS or your Droid, you'll understand what I'm talking about. DApps are decentralized applications, uh, kind of like your iOS or Play Store, you know, or your um, rooted stores if you're using um, root if you you know root your phone or jailbreak it. Uh, right now, collectibles versus your NFTs will be under development. So Bifrost really right now is only doing. Basically, Songbird, that's really about it. Yes, you can store all the tokens there, but, I mean, kind of in a way. What's the point? Probably use another wallet that probably does a lot more, and probably you can do a lot more. A lot easier to use than you're used to it already. Why move coins around and lose money right now? So, that's all said. Hope you enjoyed the video. I will be back here again shortly with the uh, descent on how to. And then the video after that, I will compare some between all three of them. And then from there, I'll start breaking down how, like, the... You know, the voting, compound interest, and all that good jazz works. Thank you very much for chiming on in, and hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Live long and prosper.